And so I'd like to introduce um, Cole Strain of um, Pinterest. He's the head of measurement solutions. His team researches and builds products that allow advertisers to see their performance on Pinterest and then improve that performance. And then um, speaking with him is Michael Schuon, the um, SVP and GM of marketing solutions at Newstar. So Michael and Cole, please take it away. Thank you, good morning. Great. So Cole and I this morning are going to speak with you a little bit about um, some of the work that we have uh, partnered on to demonstrate incrementality uh, across a, a number of brands. Um, so what, you know, what drives consumers to actually convert and take the action the brands are looking for? As marketers, we all hope and believe that it's obviously driven to some extent by um, our marketing engagements, um, but have to recognize that every consumer has some organic propensity um, to convert, some or organic uh, likelihood. Um, and as Andy said at the outset, in order to understand incrementality, you need to be able to factor out that organic propensity um, from uh, the incremental um, uh, push that's being driven by marketing. Um, in order to do that, uh, New Star is leveraging across all of our marketing partners uh, and measurement partners, a combination of marketing mix and multi-touch attribution techniques. Um, and obviously those techniques are being challenged today um, as um, things like third-party cookies and mobile ad IDs are becoming deprecated. Um, in order to be able to address that, Cole, if you go to the next slide. Um, Newstar has launched uh, Newstar Fabric, um, which is a unique approach to the future of marketing measurement. Uh, with Fabric, we are leveraging our authoritative identity um, and working closely with the ecosystem in order to be able to ensure that uh, we are able to effectively measure um, and incorporate those marketing touch points um, without leveraging third-party cookies and do so in a privacy safe way. Um, in order to do, the, do that, Newstar is leveraging, again, our authoritative identity, um, we're working uh, closely with partners such as Pinterest to be able to effectively measure um, uh, how consumers are engaging with uh, ads on Pinterest and other platforms um, and leveraging a brand's own data um, in order to build kind of a unique fabric that is able to effectively measure um, and enable those brands to optimize their marketing investments. Um, if we look specifically about how that works with a partner like Pinterest, go to the next slide. Um, what Newstar has done is on behalf of individual brands, we will look at um, their entire marketing uh, plan. They include touch points on TV, direct mail, mobile, display, um, and we have in, um, uh, again, leveraging that Newstar fabric framework, um, the touch points on platforms like Pinterest. Um, and what we've done that Cole's now going to speak about in more detail is provided Pinterest some insights um, into uh, how Pinterest touch points work across multiple brands. Thank you, Michael. Um, so Pinterest has a long-standing narrative about how we're a platform for discovery. We're a place for people to find something new and most of all, a place to find inspiration. Um, we've been running internal research for years with our own data uh, about how we reach people earlier in the consumer journey. Um, and, but we wanted to expand that point of view to, to include more touch points than what we were just able to see ourselves. We'd also heard the story from advertisers that when they were measuring us in, in like a site analytics or a last, last touch attribution, potentially something they'd built in house, uh, that our performance wasn't quite as good as they were hoping it would be. Um, so we partnered with Newstar to help us understand this. What, where do we sit in the consumer journey when we talk about more touch points than just ourselves? And what are different ways that advertisers might see that performance represent depending on how they look at us, depending on how they judge us. Um, so what you'll see today is some of the highlights from this meta-analysis that we, we ran with them. Um, for any good analysis, I do like to talk just for a moment about setup and, and what it is you're actually looking at from a data point of view. Um, so here are the logistics. With Newstar, we match on maids and we match on emails. There are no cookies used between us for this, uh, for this meta. Um, Impressions on Pinterest are, are against logged in users. So we have very good visibility into the impressions that we're being served. Um, and we also run paid and earned media on the platform. So the way earned media works, um, if you're running a campaign with compelling creative and I want to pin that creative to my board, uh, if then Michael goes and looks at my board later, he that would result in an earned impression. So if you create compelling creative on Pinterest, the effects of that advertising last long beyond the campaign window. Um, 
We did send four months of data. Um, but what I think was interesting is that this is actually a blind analysis. You know, we, we provided a, a set of impression data, but uh, for a variety of retailers, but the analysis was done um, on blinded advertisers and then all of the results were aggregated. All right, enough on setup, let's get into highlights. <laughs> so what Newstar found is that of course, an advertiser who measures us is going to see a variety of first touches as well as last touches, but we actually see that we're more likely to contribute on Pinterest a first touch from an advertiser's point of view than, than they would see a last touch. Um, this is especially when you compare us to, to other dis to display or to other social platforms. We're just more likely to show up early. Now, if you think about this finding from an advertiser who uses a last touch attribution system, um, and, and we do see this often, and maybe it's not for their, their, their source of truth measurement, but we do often see day-to-day -day optimizations made this way and, and occasionally uh, spend allocation decisions as well. But if you're measuring us this way, you're just missing too much of the, of the impact that Pinterest drives. But more importantly, you're missing the way the pinners, our end users, our pinners, interact with your brand on Pinterest. So if you're optimizing this way, you're gonna miss 93% of the touches, but more importantly, you're gonna miss 48% of the incremental story. You're missing most of the incremental impact by just looking at, at us through this narrow view. So, uh, if you're if you're chasing if you're optimizing this way you're just you're, you're chasing a, a bad signal so i want to talk about this insight but pivot it slightly uh let's talk about this now from the consumer's point of view from the end user or from the pinner so this is a powerful insight that i end up using in my conversations on on a weekly basis is that pinterest touches often create conversions over a week later. And what Newstar helped us show it, this is actually a longer time to convert or a longer time to order than advertisers would see or consumers would experience from other platforms. Um, and this is because we're reaching people earlier in their journey. We're reaching them while they're still making up their mind. Uh, the you know search is a major part of Pinterest and, and we don't see often people searching for a specific type of shoe. They're searching for running shoes or hiking boots or fly kicks, depending on their stylistic choices. And this is a this creates a valuable opportunity for advertisers to reach these users, these consumers, while they're still exploring their choices and trying to make their final decision for which product is right for them. So what you've seen so far has been some interesting insights about uh, uh, the consumer journey, but this is a section on measuring incrementality. So I wanna get into that. Um, what, what Newstar found is that we are punching above our weight in this category, is that uh, we were representing in the, during this analysis 11% of the spend, but 18% of the incremental conversions and 18% of the incremental revenue, which represented for brands $2.9 million of incremental uh, revenue during the analysis period. Um, all right, so I'm gonna wrap this up and I wanna leave you with a handful of insights that tie these learnings together. Uh, reaching people earlier in their journey can be an effective strategy for driving advertising performance. You reach people while they're still making up their minds, um, but the result of that is that it may take them a little bit longer to make it to the register. However, used effectively, this can be an effective method for driving efficient incremental return. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Cole Strain. I work at Pinterest. Michael, thank you for partnering with me on this. And uh, Andy, we're gonna we're gonna kick it back to you. Had to have a mute issue. Um, <laughs> has to happen every day. It's, it's 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 the new law of the universe. So Michael and Cole, thank you for your presentation. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.